Herpes is a highly contagious viral disease. About 90% of people are infected. In about one third of them, the unpleasant blisters develop. Usually, the herpes simplex virus type 1 is responsible for cold sores. Genital herpes, on the other hand, emerges in most cases due to HSV type 2. Once occurred, both infections persist lifelong, and there can always be a recurrence of the typical herpes blisters. How does the initial infection occur? Most people are infected with a virus at birth. However, transmission can also occur through skin contact, kissing or sexual intercourse. The initial infection usually shows no symptoms and only appears subsequently in the form of vesicles and blisters. The virus enters the organism through the upper skin cells or via mucous membranes and replicates with the aid of human enzymes. After the initial infection, the virus migrates along the nerve fibers to the nerve node, called ganglion. Since on its way it sheds its viral envelope, it is no longer recognized by the immune system as an invader. The favored abode of HSV-1 is the trigeminal ganglion behind the temples, whereas HSV-2 prefers the sacral ganglion near the spinal cord. The viruses remain hidden there for life. However, when conditions are right, the virus is reactivated. Known trigger factors are stress, febrile illnesses, UV radiation, a weakened immune system and hormonal fluctuations. Individual viruses then migrate along the nerves to the periphery and start replicating. The immune system initiates an inflammation in the corresponding area, commonly the lips. Blisters, pain, redness, swelling, excessive warmth and functional limitations appear. A cold sore's outbreak usually lasts 7 to 12 days and generally runs through five different phases. Itching and tingling, blisters, wetness, crusts and the final phase. Only a few people do not get the initial itching phase, which indicates an imminent cold sore's outbreak. When the blisters are healed, the virus retreats and remains inactive until the next outbreak. The following important tips should be kept in mind in the event of an acute cold sores outbreak. Do not break blisters under any circumstances. Avoid skin contact, wash hands frequently and disinfect if possible. Avoid kissing. Personal items with skin contact at the affected site, for example glasses or hand towels, should not be shared. Persons affected by cold sores generally treat the lesions with creams from the pharmacy. Often, preparations with a virostatics, a cyclovir or pencyclovir are requested. There are also over-the-counter preparations with lemon balm extract, zinc sulfate, docosanol and hydrocolloids. People who suffer from recurring cold sores have usually already tried out multiple treatment options. Nonetheless, they are frequently dissatisfied and complain that the agents have an inadequate effect. With a medical device Herpetherm, PTAs and pharmacists can recommend an alternative mechanism of action to these customers in particular, hyperthermia.